Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to be talking about how to read with a busy schedule. Let me preface this with I am a very, very busy person. Most days I run from about 6.30 a.m. to about 10 to 11 p.m. I work, I'm a full-time student. Honestly, my YouTube workload is equivalent to that of a full-time YouTuber. Virtually, my days are planned out hourly to a T about a week in advance because I am constantly trying to fit in 24 full hours of work into 16 hours of content consciousness every single day. But I do happen to read a decent amount, so I thought it would be helpful to share a few tips on how I get some reading done in all of this craziness. I know this video has been done a million times on booktube, but I do feel like my reading schedule is a little bit different from other booktubers who have made this video, and it was very highly requested by you guys, so I decided to do it, and hopefully it won't be a carbon copy of other ones. <laughs> Normally in these videos, the first tip is to make time to read, to set aside time in your schedule specifically for reading. For this video, I'm trashing that tip. The reality is a lot of people can't do that. For me personally, and I'm sure a lot of other people are in this situation, I can barely set aside time for a full hour of reading once a week, let alone every single day. If I were to actually set aside an hour a day for reading, I would spend that hour worrying about all of the other things that I have to get done, not actually observing the content and enjoying my time reading. If you're able to do that, go for it. Absolutely, I completely envy you. But as this is not just how to read more, this is how to read with a busy schedule, I'm not going to tell you that you need to sacrifice important uses of your time for a hobby that's just for fun. This is not a video on how to make more time for reading, it's a video on how to make better use of your time so that you can read if you're someone like me. I've kind of organized these tips into a sort of hierarchical format, so like achieving a previous tip is gonna help you to better achieve the next one, and then from there the next one, and so on. So the first tip I do have for you is to read books in multiple formats. I know this can be very daunting if you've never done it before, but it is so useful. Sometimes you might have the time to dedicate your mind to reading, but you can't physically hold a book and that's where audiobooks come into play. Or sometimes you might have your hands so you can do actual reading but you might be at a place like a family function where it's more socially acceptable to have out your phone rather than unpacking a big physical book and that's where ebooks come into play. While having multiple copies of books can definitely get pricey, I'd recommend checking out this app called Overdrive. I'm looking at this now thinking that this could be viewed as sponsored but it's not sponsored by Overdrive at all. I just think it would be really useful for you guys. Essentially all you have to do is download the app, log in with your library card, and then you have total access to your library's collection of ebooks and audiobooks for free. There are definitely other services that you can subscribe to for books like Audible for audiobooks or Scribd I believe has audiobooks and ebooks but I understand that having those is a lot of money and especially if you're not totally dedicated to trying out new formats Overdrive might be better for you. Opening up the different ways you can read your books is going to allow you to read at more opportunities and eventually help you finish books faster, so I totally recommend trying out some different mediums of reading. Tip number two is to read multiple books at once. Again, I know this can be really overwhelming if you've never done it before, but it's actually fairly easy to adjust to, at least in my experience. Before 2016, I was always a one book kind of girl. I thought reading multiple stories at once was going to make me forget the content of one book or that it was going to just take longer overall to finish both books, but in reality for me it has been so helpful. Firstly, if you're going to be reading multiple books and you only like physical books, you can definitely have different books on you at once. For example, you can leave one in your car that you can take to school with you or when you're out and you can have one at home. But the way I really adjusted to this was combining it with tip one and my first ever audiobook was a reread. I thought it would be so much easier to adjust to the format of an audiobook that I had never experienced before if I knew the actual story and it worked out so well. Basically, Basically every day I read when I have the opportunity to read a physical book and I listen to my audiobook any other time that's possible and that is 100% a big reason why I'm able to read as much as I do. Generally I don't really love ebooks so I don't read a ton of them unless I have to but I have had times where I will be reading a physical book, an ebook, and an audiobook, three separate books, three separate formats and they work out just as well. Attempt it and see if it works for you, but definitely incorporating another book in another format has completely maximized my reading. While tip number two has totally helped me out, tip number three is absolutely how I get all of my reading done. Like I said, I can't really dedicate time specifically to reading, which means I have to take advantage of every possible moment that I can, which is number three. If you can read for 10 minutes at six different times during the day, you've read the equivalent of an hour of reading. I feel like people get very consumed with the thought of like reading at home or reading for long periods of time, 
but I personally can't do that and sometimes I can read just as much as the people that do. Here are some examples of how I read throughout my day. With my physical book, I read while I'm on lunch at work, I read while I'm waiting for class to start if I get there early, I read on my dinner break at school, I read while I'm on the train, I read while I'm waiting for appointments, if it's a long line when I'm waiting to order food or check out at a store, I read, I read literally every moment I can. With my audiobook, I'll listen to it while I'm in the shower, I'll listen to it while I'm getting ready for the day, I'll listen to it while I'm cleaning my room, I listen a lot when I'm walking to or from work or school, and most of my audiobook listening happens while I'm driving. You would be really surprised as to how much that can really amount to in a day. So even when I really can't clear a specific period of time to read, I still get a lot of reading done. Just make sure you're taking advantage of the time you do have, even if you don't realize it, and it will definitely impact your reading. And again, tip number four bounces off of tip number three. If you've accomplished all of these things so far, I'd recommend learning how to do other things while you read. It's really fascinating how much you can train yourself to do while reading. With audiobooks, I've learned to divide my attention really, really well, so I can actually go into work, and for the first hour before anyone is in the office, I'm able to do my menial work tasks, and listen to my audiobook. I always go shopping or go to the supermarket while listening to my audiobook. Looking at products does not take away from the story at all for me anymore, and I literally can't do these tasks without listening to my audiobook. I've kind of mastered the physical book reading thing, so like I said, a lot of my reading comes from when I'm reading and eating, which I know a lot of people can't do, but I also can potentially walk really well while reading, or I can read in the shower or in the bath. I've read while straightening my hair, and I've read while doing my nails. I can read while hula hooping or stretching or exercising at the gym or home. Well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing all of these things because yes, crossing busy streets while reading is probably very dangerous, but I'm just trying to show you guys that you do have the capability to learn how to read while doing other things. Multitasking is going to be your best friend. Personally, I make the most out of this tip with things like I said, eating, driving, walking, and shopping. But experiment, see what you can actually accomplish while reading, and I promise you, it'll totally make a difference. It's also really entertaining. It's fun to read while doing all of these other crazy things. <laughs> Finally, my last tip kind of encompasses all of the above, and that is to read in different environments. Honestly, making yourself exclusive to reading at home is such a disadvantage. I'm personally someone who needs to read with noise, whereas I know a lot of people need total silence, so I've become very accustomed to reading in the most unlikely situations. Getting comfortable reading in different positions, different locations, and different things going on around you are totally going to help you get more immersed into your book so you can take advantage of that extra time you have to read. I think those are really it for my tips on how to read with a busy schedule. Let me know what tips you already use, what tips you might try, and if there's any tips that were left out of this video because believe me, I am always trying to learn how to read more. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new one. Bye!